Don't hit me, bro. Don't hit me, bro. What are you gonna do? You gonna try to go around me? Nope. Don't hit me, bro. Don't hit me, bro. Don't hit me, bro. Oh, shit! What? What? What just happened? The Mustang just straight up knocked my noggin while I was trolling this, uh, this civilian driver. Wow. In 400 yards, These guys aren't messing around. Anyway, welcome back, guys, to another episode of... Forza Motorsports, not Motorsport, right. I've been doing that lately. Forza Turn Horizon right. 2. Oh gosh, are we gonna be able to make it through here? Turn left. We're just making some shit up at this point. Oh, let's let's look for a car over here. Hold on. We got some fun stuff to do today, boys. We've got some um, a new showcase of some sort. Turn around what they want us to do. To do so. Alright, so we're looking for some sort of house or barn type deal. This looks like it might be promising. But I'm pretty sure it's a barn that you're looking for. We've only found one all time, so I'm... Obviously, I'm not sure what I'm doing, but... I don't think it's here. Okay. We're looking for a barn. Hold on. I'm gonna shut this GPS up real quick. Looking for a barn. That's not a barn. And today's episode's gonna be a little bit different. Not a whole lot of racing, just uh, having some fun, racing some... I think we're gonna be racing planes. I don't know what we're gonna be doing, but yeah, we're, we're just gonna be having some fun. We have a 2015 Jaguar we're gonna be... We're gonna be hopping up in soon. But not quite. And we actually just unlocked this thing too, the Jeep Grand Cherokee SRT, which... Uh, which looks pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. Like, that's a that's a good looking SUV. So we're definitely gonna be checking him out as well. A few other cars we have with our mobile one. Unlock. Man, I am not seeing a barn. Why do they make these so hard to find? I play Forza because I want to race, not because I want to search around the woods for a damn car. And last time it was like nearly impossible to find. Like back in a bunch of trees and stuff. But all we got was a freaking VW bus, which I still we haven't even used yet, so we're gonna have to go to the garage and pick that thing up eventually. Maybe we should follow these dirt roads. I feel like it would be off the dirt road. So it's obviously not on this edge. Horizon's top drivers is nearby. I've marked their position on your GPS if you want to challenge them. Uh oh, you guys want to challenge a top driver? I ain't scared. I ain't scared. Where you at, homie? Come here. I feel like the house might be down in there. Nope. Maybe I should be scared. <laughs> He's going this way. Maybe we'll find the house when we're searching for him. What's he driving? He's flying like that. You want me to race that in my car? Are you serious? Ultima GTR? Are you like? Are, you want me to race a supercar in my car? Are you fudging me? Well, I don't think this is going to work out, but we'll see. Especially since he has a big-ass lead. Left. Woo! Oh, let's go! Let's go! Turn sharp left. Let's go! No way! No way did we just do that. <laughs> we took his ass back! No way! We just straight up bamboozled his ass. We took him out. We said, I'm not gonna beat you legit, so I'm just gonna freaking T-bone you end your life and take the win. No way are we really about to get this right now. There is no way. How much are we gonna get for this? What? 42,000 credits for that? Wow! 
And now we have another challenge coming up right here. All right, well, this episode just got a whole lot more badass, that's for sure. I cannot believe that, like, that could, we couldn't have planned that any better. We, we absolutely could not have tried to do that any better. There's no way we were going to beat a level 2 supercar in a Camaro ZL1 unless that right there happened. That's literally the only thing that could have happened. There's no other, like, explanation or option that ever would have worked out. That's insane. All right, let's see what this challenge is up, up right here. The mother load, Lamborghini Benino. Let's go, unleash the raw power of a Benino. And yes, I'm saying that right. It looks like Benino, but it's actually, I think it might be Benino. I don't know, it's, it sounds like B. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's go. 147 miles an hour. Let's get this money, baby. We are cutting across the fields, cause YOLO. The Take the We're ramping end. the roundabout. I don't care about a roundabout. I don't care about fields. I'm in a Lambo Benino. Woo, 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 cartwheels. <laughs> no way. No way. Well, 0.6 miles in 10 seconds. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. We might. Hold on. Seven Turn seconds. When it is safe to do so. Oh, come on. Two. Oh, we almost made it. All right. We're going to have to restart. Holy crap. <laughs> that was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. That was the craziest thing I've... All right. Here we go. Let's actually stay on the streets this time and see how we can do. We said F around about. We're going for it. And we freaking cartwheeled like a... Professional gymnastics person like Sean Johnson. Mm. I'd take this Benino or Benino over Sean Johnson any day though. Look at the handling at of this the thing at the speed. Take the second exit. Trying to stay alive this time. There we go. That's how you do it. I love being on the inside of this. Let's take a look at look the outside again. Back in the inside. Wow. Wow. You were two miles per hour too slow. What does that mean? Oh, is this, do you have to keep the, hold on. All right, I'm, I'm down with freaking staying in this thing. I'm down to race this thing all day long. I don't know if we'll ever be able to afford it, but. Oh, this is such a great find. I'm so happy right now. I race to the top speed of the speed trap. Beat the speed target of 175 miles an hour. Oh, so we were 130 or 173, I think. I think we slowed down too much at the um, the roundabout. If you go a little bit to the right, there's kind of a little opening. At the roundabout, take the second exit. Oh shit. Oh man! All right, let's go ahead and restart this thing again. I think we're gonna go a little bit left, but yeah, there's like a little opening where you can like squeeze through a couple of trees. Wow, we almost made it through that, and we couldn't even see what was going on. Let's go in the third person view. I think we'll be able to see a little bit more. Like I said, I'm just down to drive this thing all day. I'd be down to purposefully fail this over and over. Look how beautiful this car is. Looks like a freaking spaceship. I follow one of the very few people in the world who are on this car on Instagram. He lives in Miami. He just, I think he just turned it like, you see like all the red accents? I think he turned them, turned them green. Oh gosh, come on, Trev. We're gonna be going fast enough. Turn around when it is safe to do so. How are you supposed to be going 175 in this thing? I don't understand. But yeah, I think he turned it all green, then he like changed the, the rims green and stuff, so he, his is like super custom, but... I don't know how we're supposed to do this. I really don't. I don't know how... Maybe if we... I guess if we slow down a little bit more on that roundabout, and just try to stay on the road...
gosh, this thing is sexy. Here we go. This is actually a pretty challenging one. It just doesn't give you enough straightaway at the end to be able to get the kind of speed you need. Alright, so I'm gonna slow down a bit. At the roundabout, take the second exit. There we go. Turn around when it I think is we're good now. So. Yeah. 170, 180. That's all we needed. 183. Baller. I'll take 3,000 credits and 1,700 XP for that. All right, that was fun, Mr. Benino. I wish I could take you home. But unfortunately, my broke ass is stuck in this Camaro. <laughs> A boy can dream, right? All right, cool. So let's head to the um, the big challenge we have. There's a new, I don't know, some sort of like airplane challenge or something that he wants us to do. Total winnings, 2.1 million credits. All right, oh, look at that booty. Okay, where is this challenge at? I, and, oh, all the way down here. Wish there was an option to fast travel. North by Northwest Showcase. Turn around when it is Hell, I wish we could take the damn Benino there. We'd be there in like five minutes. Five minutes for 4.3 miles would be a very fast trip. We'd be there in like a minute. Oh. Looks like there's a shortcut opportunity, and you guys know I'm all about shortcuts, so we're just gonna We're gonna carve our own path through here. Yikes. Whoa, what the fudge is a tractor doing out here? Can I drive this? Nope. Unfortunately not. <laughs> that would have been awesome. I think my tractor's sexy. It really turns her on. Oh, wow, wow, wow. In 100 yards, turn left. Wow. Coming in here for the XP board. Where's it at? There she blows. I'm sorry, Mr. Camaro. We are beating you up right now. All right, 2.7 miles. Let's finish this thing out strong, boys. I still can't believe we won that head-to-head -head with the pro driver. That is absolutely unbelievable. I like. I, I just. I can't believe our luck. I. I it's. It's boggling my mind. <laughs> he wasn't anywhere near us. <laughs> He's back there cursing us out because we t-boned his. I don't know how many million dollar car. Turn right. At the I ain't turning right. Take the second exit. I'm going straight to the destination. You guys already know. Oh gosh. Woo. We take these trees out, we can't. Okay, good. These ones we can't. Oh boy. Look, it says we're 2.5 miles away. Get that junk out of here. Hopefully there's no water or anything. What's your nest net? Hey, New barn find just rumor. A rumor of an abandoned classic. What's with these Mediterraneans just dumping their old cars? Apparently it's somewhere to the east of Montellina. We might have to go through after we're completed with all the cars we're gonna do, and we'll, we'll try to look for those damn barns. We'll see. There's any more interest, but I don't know. Maybe there's like a there's got to be like a tutorial on YouTube that shows you where all the are. All right, two point two miles away, eh? I don't think so. Look at this hair. Woo! Flying through the treetops. Wow! Look at all this air we're getting. Oh my goodness, that was insane. All right, here we go. You have arrived at North by Northwest, kind of like South by Southwest, right? That's like a big, 
music and entertainment event. All right, beat the crop duster. I think we can, ooh. Wow, a tricked out raptor. Here we go. Good luck, mate. <laughs> You're gonna need it. This is a categorized as an S1 car. Are you shitting me? This is one of the most badass trucks I've ever seen in my entire life. We already know we're taking shortcuts. I'm gonna beat you, Mr. Crop Duster. Oh, look at him dropping crop dust in our face. Woo. I don't need to slow down. What are you talking about? Oh, maybe I should have. Oh! Uh oh, ramps! Ultimate air, baby. I'm gonna beat this for us, guys. I'm gonna beat this for us. Uh oh. Next checkpoint's over here. I'm cutting right across. <laughs> Going off the beaten path, baby. Where's he at? I don't see him anywhere. He's nowhere to be seen. Yikes. Ooh, he's flying that way. He is well beyond us, man. Like behind us, I mean. Oh, he just caught up. Because he's supposed to catch up. That's the job in Forza Horizon. It's supposed to be a close finish. 55% of the way done. This is a badass truck. Look at those fog lights. Well, those aren't really fog lights. It's spotlights, I guess you would call them. I don't know. Right up there at the top. Watch out, spectators! It's about to get a lot more real than you wanted it to be. Oh boy, he's got a bit of a lead on us now. Hope everything works out all right. I think we're doing pretty good in terms of overall time. I would wager. I think we're gonna be okay to get the one at the end. There's the finish line, 500 yards. He's coming around. Oh, gosh. Is Reed really about to beat us? Nope. Got him! First place. That's <laughs> You're right. You're making light work out of these planes. Next year, I'm going to have to see if I can get a Concorde out of retirement. Well done, mate. That's awesome. Concords were badass. Fastest civilian or, like, commercial plane ever. Flew from New York to London in like an obscene amount of time. I don't remember. I'm gonna look that up for you guys. Just give you a nice, nice little tidbit here. Nice little tidbit. Concord flight time. Um. I don't know. Oh, while well, commercial jets took eight hours to fly from right, New York guys, to Paris, it was three and a half. In San Giovanni. Let's regroup at the hub and we'll head back out on this road trip. All right, so we're going to head back. We're going to start a new road trip. But yeah, the Concorde used to fly at like double the speed of regular commercial jets. So anyway, I'll see you guys next episode. We're going to be checking out that brand new uh, 2015 Jaguar. It's a super, super badass. The um, uh, F-Type R Coupe. I can't wait for it. I hope you guys are excited too. I'll see you guys next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.